Hey there, hi there, ho there, it's me, Bear, wearing an Alpha Flight shirt. What? What? A Canadian wearing an Alpha Flight shirt? Is that like wearing the the shirt of the band you're at the concert of? Don't be that guy. Um, so, this video was originally going to be a rundown of some of the best house rules from online, but I asked in the Facebook group, I asked in the Reddit group, and I sort of perused the Discord. I'm not really a Discord guy. And um, I said, what's your favorite house rules? What, what are the best house rules you've seen so far? It's crickets. No answers. So I started talking to some other people. I started getting an idea of what's going on. And it seems there's a general consensus that other than new people coming in and a couple of people from the old crowd, the old crowd's gone silent. They've gone quiet. Like, no one's talking about the game anymore. There's a lot of chatter on the Discord, apparently, about superheroes, um, which is cool. But there's not a lot of chatter about the game. Every now and then, someone will throw up a, uh, a homebrew character, you know, like a Doc Ock or something like that, which is very cool. Helps a lot. Uh, every now and then, um, so there's a couple of the... The usual suspects will put up stuff they're talking about, or stuff that interests them, which is very, very cool. But the fire and thunder is gone. And this was something that a lot of us feared was going to happen. We feared that without Marvel giving us updates, without Marvel communicating with us, we wouldn't, we'd lose the initial lightning bolt, we'd lose the initial momentum. And now it's starting to feel like that's what's going on. And I don't want to homebrew a game here out of their game. I'm working on Heroic right now. I got a lot of work done today. And I know people like this game because if I look at the numbers of the views I get on videos about this game, I get views. No one seems to want to really hear about my fantasy game at all. <laughs> and even less if you give a flying fuck about Prime Directive. God bless you. But, you know, the, the, the stuff that I get the most views on are Four Color Cafe, we used to be DMs of the Roundtable Chats, um, talking about the heroic game, and talking about Marvel Multiverse. So what's going on with the community? I mean, I've got one more session of the Marvel Multiverse playtest, Enter Hydra, going uh, next Wednesday. And then after that, I'm like, do I keep going with it? Or do I switch over and start doing a live playtest of heroic? which might benefit me better in the long run. I don't know. I don't know what to do because I don't know what's going on with the community. But at first blush, it looks like the community has quieted down considerably. And a lot of the, the main voices that were driving the conversation have kind of, well, maybe not fallen silent, but they've certainly not talked as much as they used to. Now, what's his name? Um... Oh, God, I'm going to have to find his channel here on YouTube because I can't remember his name. It's Game Masters. I want to say Game Masters with an S, but I'm pretty sure that's not the name of his channel. And, of course, now I can't find it now that I want it. Uh, he is doing videos, and he was just talking about how much he loves the game. But he also mentioned he's playing the game with House Rules and Homebrew. And like I said, for me, it boils down to... Do I want to be doing um, a game where I'm going to have to write everything myself while I'm working on my own game? And I'll tell you right now, the answer is no. Because I've already got enough on my plate that, you know, making their game playable for a long-term run isn't an option. And if the community, it is Game Masters. I'm a moron. I'll throw his link to his latest video. Uh, he's got a giveaway he's doing for a copy of uh, Multiverse of Madness. So I'll throw that link down in the chat in the, uh, the show sh the show description for you so you can go take a look and see what you like. And he's a good guy. Subscribe to him. He just hit a thousand subscribers. So you know, good for him, man. Give him a few more. But um ultimately I don't know, man. It's feeling weird. It's feeling really weird. So I don't know what to do. I'm not sure how I should do it. I'm not sure what I should do. But I'm very curious as to what you all think. I'm very curious as to what your view on the community is. I'm very curious as to what you feel is happening 
where the zeitgeist is at the present moment. Uh, it would really, I think, benefit me a lot to be able to um, have some insight outside of my echo chamber. Because my echo chamber is giving up. A lot of the people in my echo chamber have given up. Some of them even reached out and asked to be playtesters for Heroic because they're so, um, I think, feeling abandoned maybe or feeling left out or left behind by this Marvel multiverse situation. I don't know. I'm not going to pretend I read their minds because I don't, but I found it odd, you know, that there are people literally saying, nah, screw this, we'd rather play Heroic. That's not a good sign. Right? That's not a good sign at all. I'm not, because I'm not, ooh, thank you. I'm not acting like Heroic's some great game yet. It's it's barely in its infancy. I think it's just the fact that I'm doing stuff, and I'm releasing stuff, and I'm talking about stuff that gets them excited. I don't know. Marvel has a massive media machine at their disposal. Nary a peep other than a couple of um, interviews with Matt Forbeck, and that's it. It's not... You know, it's not good. We should have gotten something else. It's been over a month now. It's coming up, let's see, May tw- April 20th, May 20th. We're into June now, so it's coming a month and a half soon. Next week will be a month and a half. And we've got nothing. Nothing. I know there's stuff coming. I, they've talked about their stuff they want to do, but we've got nothing. No updates, no, no communication. Unless I'm missing something and you see something, please let me know. So yeah, not sure what I'm going to do. I'm very curious what you're doing, and I'm very curious what you think the current situation with the uh, the community is, and what the, like I said, the zeitgeist is for Marvel Multiverse role-playing. So, peace, love, geek, type your answers down below, and will I continue to make mine Marvel? 